Hi everyone, this is Andrea, and right now I'm gonna show you how to draw Pikachu. First three things that you wanna have, you wanna ha have an eraser and a pencil sharpener, and also a pencil that's ready to use, and you wanna have a nice flat surface where you can draw uninterrupted. Now I know a lot of you are gonna to wanna to start off using markers, but one thing I love about the pencil is that if you make a mistake, you can easily erase it. Just remember not to press too hard. You wanna very gently stroke the surface of the paper with your pencil, so that way it'll be easy to remove any mistakes you might make. Now first, when we draw Pikachu, we wanna start with his head, and down at the bottom of the paper, you want to draw his head, and the shape of his head is going to be like an oval. Don't make it right at the bottom of the paper, but close enough. Very lightly draw the shape of the head, making quick little marks. All right, there we go. You might notice that his head's not perfectly round. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use little C-shaped lines to make his cheeks. You know how hamster has really puffed cheeks? That's what we're gonna do for Pikachu's face. Draw backwards C over here to make his other cheek. Draw a regular C on this side for the other cheek. Now you can take your eraser and draw and erase the inside of those cheeks. All right, there we go. Now, at the bottom of his face, we want to draw a U to make the bottom part of his mouth. Remember, we want to draw a really happy Pikachu, draw him smiling, and then draw a W to make the top of his mouth. There we go. Now for his nose, we want to draw a teeny tiny upside down triangle. He doesn't have such a big nose, but if you want to make him have a bigger nose, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to draw it exactly like a, how I'm doing it. Now let's draw his two eyes. He's got big, happy eyes. And then you want to draw two circles inside each eye to make the light spots. That's the light that has been reflected on his eyes. One thing I love about drawing the light spots, it makes your animals or your Pokemon look a lot more cute. So I'm gonna draw one big circle toward the top of each, each eye and then draw a tinier one right underneath. All right, there we go. Now we wanna draw an upside down U inside his mouth to make the tongue. And then we're going to draw circles on each of his cheeks. You know, so he has a red circle on each of his cheeks. Now, before we move up, we're going to draw his arms and his paws. You notice how his arms are down below his face, almost like he's leaping in the air, or maybe he's just trying to do a handstand. That's cool, too. So let's draw two U-shaped lines coming out from under his head. There we go. You can make them as wide or as skinny as you want them to be. And then after that, you want to draw five little V's coming out the bottom of the U's to make his toes. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now to the other one. One, two, three, four, five. Great, now we will move on to his ears. Now the ears have a bit of a leaf shape to them, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a curved line and then make it come right back to his head. And then draw a line that goes from side to side to make the black tip of his ear right there. Now, I'm going to draw another ear, draw another curved line that goes in the opposite direction, and then bring it right back to his head. Don't forget that little line that we drew over there. Now, you don't have to do this, but in honor of the movie Detective Pikachu that came out last year, I gave him a little detective hat. You don't have to draw that, but if you want to, here's how you do it. First, we're going to draw an upside down U. Remember, the bigger the U, the bigger the hat's going to be, so if you want to be a teeny tiny hat, make it smaller. Now I'm gonna draw a curved line underneath my upside down U to close that hat. That doesn't look quite finished, does it? Looks kind of like he has a bowl on his head. So we're gonna draw that flap that goes under. There we go. And then we're gonna draw a line that goes straight from top to the bottom, stopping right here where the flap of his hat starts. But next, what's missing? We gotta add that bow that's on top of his hat. So we're gonna draw a teeny tiny circle right at the very top of the line that we drew in the middle and then draw two loops that kind of look like sideways U's on each side. To make it look a little more realistic, I'm gonna draw two little lines that go through each of those loops, but don't make them go all the way to the edge. All right, now we have his arms and his paws, and we have his face, his hat, and his ears, but now we have to get the rest of his body. So next, we're gonna use the U-shaped line again. That's gonna be our best friend. We're going to draw an upside down U, looks like a bridge that goes from behind one of his ears to the other. And now we're going to draw those stripes, kind of look like bananas. 
only they're gonna be black. You're gonna draw a curved line that goes over one part of his back like a bridge, and then make it come back. And then we're gonna draw another one that goes over his hat, but then disappears behind the bow on top of his hat. There we go. Next, we are going to do the feet. And one thing that's important, you have to keep the feet farther apart, otherwise there isn't going to be enough room for the tail. Next thing I'm going to do, I am going to draw an oval that's coming out from behind each side of his body. Remember, the bigger the oval, or the smaller the oval, the bigger or smaller the feet will be. There we go. Kind of looks like he's got two eggs floating behind him. So next, we want to separate the tips of these feet into toes. So draw two straight lines to make the gaps in between the toes. And then try to make a little bridge shape right over where each toe will separate. So they'll look less like paddles and more like real Pikachu feet. All right, then erase the lines in between. All right, now we have his feet. Now is the last part. We are going to draw his tail. His tail has that lightning bolt shape. Now to start the tail, we are going to draw a backwards seven. First, to make sure that we know where we want our tail to start and finish, let's draw two little dots where we want the base of our tail to be. Then I'm going to draw a backwards seven, then another backwards seven, then another backwards seven, and then this is going to make the top of the tail. Now, mine's a bit shorter, but if you want to make it a bit longer, that's absolutely fine. Next, I'm going to draw a line that comes down so I can make the other side of my tail, then draw another backwards seven, and then another backwards seven, but make sure that this bottom of the seven ends right on the other dot where the base of our tail is going to be. Now, the last thing that we have to draw is the brown on part of the tail. That's gonna be at the base, and to make that part, we have to do the zigzag lines. So I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that's at the very base of the tail, and then there is my Detective Pikachu. Now, if you want to add anything else, maybe you want to give him glasses, or maybe give him a scarf, or maybe you want to add lightning bolts around him, go right ahead. You don't have to do it exactly the way I did it, and you don't have to color it the exact same way. I'm actually going to choose a different color for my new Pikachu's background. So now we learn how to draw him. Just erase any marks that you don't want to see anymore, and you can take whatever markers or colored pencils you have and color him however you want. I want to be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the land Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand The power that's inside my Pikachu. I'm not sure if any of you have been coloring for 30 minutes straight like I have, but if you have, your arms must be exhausted. But the last thing we're going to do is add our initials at the bottom. If you want to add your full name, go right ahead and do that. All right, there's our Pikachu. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you all next time.